Hi, this is Teddy Garland, and I am the author of the guidebook Explore Yellowstone Like a Local and host of the top-rated podcast of the same name. And my family has lived just outside of Yellowstone Park since 1919. And I've been exploring Yellowstone and Grand Teton for over 60 years. And I've been into Yellowstone Park thousands of times. And I pour all of that family history and knowledge into the guidebook for you guys. And as you read through the guidebook and hear in my podcasts, there are two things I simply hate to waste, and that is time and money. In the Planning Your Yellowstone Vacation chapter, you will find money-saving tips on flights, lodging, and dining where you can save thousands of dollars on your Yellowstone vacation. And to help you not waste any time while you're in the parks, I tell you how to beat all the crowds at all the top sites. Yellowstone Park is just huge at a whopping 3,500 square miles with Grand Teton attached to its south side. It is basically the size of Connecticut, so you simply must break Yellowstone down into areas that you can easily and enjoyably visit in a single day, and that is exactly what the guidebook does for you. The guidebook lists 16 day log adventures for you to choose from. For example, the Geyser Day chapter in the Old Faithful area, which is home to the largest conglomeration of geysers in the world, and it takes a full day to see them all. And in the guidebook, I tell you how to work the geyser basin. I tell you where you need to park, how to get the most updated prediction times, and then tell you all about the geysers, like the best spot to see Old Faithful erupt from, and then Grand, which is the largest geyser on earth and not to be missed on any trip to Yellowstone. We then visit Grand Prismatic, the most photographed pool on the planet, and I tell you where, which parking area you need to use to access the upper viewing platform for the best views. Plus, I throw in instructions on how to get to two secret backcountry geyser basins that are known only to locals where you can see some of the biggest and best pools in the world without another tourist in sight. And all of this takes one full day. The second most popular area in Yellowstone is the canyon area, which is home to the gorgeous Golden Canyon of the Yellowstone River. In the South Loop Canyon chapter, I tell you how you can visit Artist Point and have the entire viewing platform to yourself before the thousands of tourists hit the area, and also where you can find the famous Moran Bench, and I tell you the wonderful story of Thomas Moran. I then tell you where you should go second third, fourth, and so on, hitting all the main stops in the canyon area, staying just ahead of all the other tourists who simply don't know where to go and when to hit all the main sites in the canyon area. We then drive through the Hayden Valley, which is home to the largest free-roaming bison herd on earth, and then I walk you through the mud volcano area. We then have the best lunch in the park at the beautiful Lake Hotel, followed by a tour along the shores of the gorgeous Yellowstone Lake with a stop where you can see the remnants of the last eruption of the Yellowstone volcano. And we cap off our day with a beautiful lily pad covered lake, which is the only lake that feeds both the Atlantic and Pacific oceans as it straddles the continental divide. And all of this takes one day and is just one of the one day long adventures you will find in the guidebook. Not only does the guidebook cover all the fun things to do inside both parks, it also covers all the fun things to do right outside the park boundaries, such as whitewater rafting, riding four-wheelers, horseback riding, mountain biking, kayaking, and on and on, including a month's worth of the absolute best day and overnight hikes found in both parks. Also in the guidebook, you will find some really cool features such as a day-by-day -day itinerary section. So no matter if you have one day, three days, or a full week to visit Yellowstone, our easy-to-follow itineraries will help you have a great vacation. Plus, I have a rating system for every main site in both parks telling you how great it is and also how difficult it is to get to because some of the top sites in the parks may require a strenuous walk. And lastly, in the back of each guidebook, you will find a QR code which gives you access to our private YouTube page that is the single largest library of videos ever compiled for the parks. So you can actually see all the great things I talk about in the guidebook instead of just reading about them or seeing a picture or two. I'm telling you guys, I've got that guidebook screwed down tight and it makes an indispensable tool for you guys to use to have a great vacation to the world's first national park. So get out there and have some fun and I will see you in Yellowstone Park.